There's a lot for Chiefs fans to see and do in Miami and a lot of ways to get close to the big game. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers is live in Miami. And Nathan, you found out just what it takes to bring a piece of the game to the gridiron. Yeah, that's right. One of the best parts about this experience is that proximity, getting to understand the game just a little bit better. We actually got to go behind the scenes with the most important part of the game, the ball. They start as scraps of leather, sewn, molded, stitched, and polished. And after making thousands of Wilson footballs, we left some material open. Andy Wentling can never watch a game the same way again. Every time there's a game on, it's the first thing I look for. Wentling manages the factory in Ada, Ohio, where every single NFL game ball comes off the line. It's not just a football, it's so much more. Especially when it's the Super Bowl. This is the bottom half of the ball. As part of the fan experience, the company brought its assembly line to Miami to show off the process. I kind of like let it roll off. Tate Larson knows how to throw a spiral. But seeing what leads up to it is something new. It's cool. I wonder how they're made. Make them look as pretty as possible. Jimmy Conley's father worked in the factory before him. Heather Nicely has been lacing for more than 21 years. We all work together, and it's like a big family. Some of the machines they use to work the leather have been around even longer. Are the machines that we use every day. They can even laser engrave them with names or a company logo. But in the end, they're all the same size, weight, and shape, and fit for game day. It's special when you see your football out there. Well, that factory in Ada, Ohio, cranks out about 700,000 footballs every year. On game day, the NFL keeps about 12 balls on hand between the two teams. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.